Hi, I'm Canon with MakeUsif.com, and I'm reviewing the Netgear Nighthawk R7000 wireless AC router. As you can see, it has a very low profile, and its design is something of an homage to the F117 Nighthawk, which was a stealth attack aircraft in the U.S. military. Its ports include four gigabyte Ethernet ports and one gigabyte WAN port. And it features a USB 2.0 port, probably for connecting to um, a printer, which you can share as a network resource. And then, it, of course, it also has a power on off button, which is useful for power cycling, and then a power port. That's where you plug in the AC adapter. And then in the front, there is a USB 3.0 port, which is more than likely for connecting a USB hard drive, which you can also, like a printer, share as a network resource. It features hardware similar to what you might find in a modern smartphone, such as a, an ARM-based dual-core AC clocked at 1 gigahertz, I, I believe, 256 megabytes of RAM, and 128 meg megabit bytes of internal storage, which is used for installing applications. It comes pre-installed the NetGenie configuration software. It features OpenVPN, which allows you to, to log into your network securely. The ability to install DDWRT firmware, similar to Tomato. 256QAM, which is the latest in, in the QAM standard that deals with transfer speed, so it's very, very fast. And Netgear's proprietary QoS, which stands for Quality of Service Streaming Technology. And it also includes what Netgear refers to as Beamforming Plus, which is a modification on the beamforming technology that's found in wireless AC technology. Its strengths include a very simple setup process, fantastic broadcast range. I get a signal on my wireless AC phone out in the parking lot of my building on the 5 gigahertz channel, and it transfers video very easily, or it streams video very easily between multiple wall, uh, walls, which is something of a feat considering my R6200 router, which is the predecessor to the R7000, can't reliably stream through one wall. And finally, Netgear offers frequent firmware upgrades. Its weaknesses include um, you, you can't find a USB 3.0 adapter that also includes Beamforming Plus. So if you want both fast transfer speeds and Beamforming Plus, you'll have to wait until Netgear releases a future product that fulfills both those niches. And it's, in my opinion, although it, it's, it, it does come feature-packed, feature it's, it's not quite worth $200 when you can get the older models refurbished for around $90 on uh, Amazon. So who, sh who should buy this? Um, if you're looking to upgrade from a wireless G or a, wireless, or a single band wireless N router, it's a pretty good investment of your money. Uh, and another group of people who may want to upgrade to this are those who are having difficulty streaming video or online content with their current router. Anyway, that concludes this review. Thank you for watching.